Good morning. This is Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show, presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. And, uh, of course, uh, many of you, like you have for the past 35 years, are listening to it on KSLO, 1230 a.m. on your dial. And now it's sister company, 105.3 out of Simsport, Louisiana. We're getting a lot more coverage uh, on the radio than we did for that first uh, 34 years mm -hmm. that uh, KSLO doesn't go out too, too far, but uh, it did a good job. It got the message out, and uh, we thank them for still carrying the, the Bobby Dupre Show. And, of course, we like to thank our sponsors before we get too far into the program. Uh, they make it all happen. That's, is that correct, Mark? The sponsors make the program work. And uh, we, of course, uh, are also now... Uh, on the internet, mm -hmm. and uh, that means worldwide. And more and more of our friends uh, are coming back and saying, I didn't realize it that I could pick you up mm -hmm. on the internet. You, some people go to work kind of early, and uh, they not necessarily ch checked in yet, started yet. They put that computer on at the office, and they listen to and the if Bobby you don't Duke watch it, you listen to you it. You can listen on, to on it. it too. That's correct. And of course, my sidekick here for well, the last five years or so, I guess. I don't know. We, don't, we quit it's counting. It's been a while. It's been a while. He came for two weeks. That's right. He likes it so much. And we haven't sent him the first check yet. We just, still waiting. We're still testing. We don't, we're <laughs> still in the probationary, probationary period. Probationary <laughs> period. But uh, people uh, tell me, uh, that young man that's on that program with you, y'all sure seem to have fun. I said, well, we've been knowing each other for the past 25 years. So I said, I guess it makes it easy. We work for the same company. We grew up together. We grew up together. Together. That's correct. You were just, yeah, you were still wet behind the ears when you came here running at night, Might uh, still be. trying to get a job at night, getting out of Baton Rouge. That's right. I was glad to come home. We're not going to go into the details, but uh, when you read my book, we'll tell you That's all right. about it. Uh, and of course, as I mentioned, the sponsors make it all happen, mm -hmm. and we're blessed that uh, we're able to keep uh, so many of our sponsors since the day that we started the television program. We're ending our tenth year. Yes, sir. You want me to start with a sponsor right out the gate? Would you How please? about Benny's Supermarket? I went there this week. I saw uh, Judge Darty's beautiful wife, Miss Charla, was there shopping the same time as me. We were both in that produce department. We're going we're gonna to show you a, a, a picture of them in New Orleans a little later. She and I, you know, we're both watching our figure. Yeah. Uh, my figure will never be as pretty as hers. <laughs> but I was picking up. They had some plums in there. I want to tell you, big as an apple. Sweet. Very, very good. You can get the dark plums or the lighter plums, but they were huge. Biggest plums I ever saw. I bought a whole bunch of fruit and all to snack on at the office instead of some old potato chips I'm, and all. I'm starting to like, uh, 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 shoots. Grapes. 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 That's good eat. They've got and the they got a bunch ones, there. They, the dark ones. They've got the light green ones. And plenty of mesquites over and, there, too, and, so and you, you don't have you, to worry about all that. You cut some cheese up and you mm -hmm. eat that with, with pieces of cheese. It's Look, good it's for you. It's a good treat. And they say it's healthy. Oh, yeah. You go over there. They seedless, got, I might seedless. add. That's, that's right. Don't that's have to spit out the seeds. Well, I, I, I can't eat anything with seeds. Well, that's but right. I have a lighter. There so. you go. But they've got the deli there seven days a week. You can get home style cooking, big rice and gravies. They've got salads, too, if you're watching your weight. They've got a huge wine selection and different types of liquors. Also the huge uh, beer department in, in, in the back. Uh, Blake's... Um and the workout, the, the and they got the workout the stuff. Got a little Benny Sports Shack there as well, and Miss Mary's gift shop in there as well. Go buy Benny's. Okay. Uh, and one more sponsor. One more sponsor. How about Carl's Thrifty Way? If you go on to get your prescription filled, Carl's Thrifty Way can help you out. Any kind of prescription you're looking for, if, that's, if it's over-the-counter type stuff, they can handle it. If it's the real prescription where you've got to have the brand name for what you have, they can do that. If you're looking for the, uh, the no-name brand, a generic, uh, they can do that too. I know some people's insurance pays better if it's a generic type drug. They handle all those type of things, and they can tell you, hey, I see your insurance can help you. They've got all your insurance information on file once you get a prescription done there, so they can take care all that kind of stuff for you and file it for you automatically and then the year even give you a little printout to show you what you bought during the year if you got to file back to make sure you got everything in case you forgot something or you change your insurance during the year. Carl's Thriftway, don't forget the gift shop there as well. And I'm picking up some uh, prescription renewals uh, today. There you go. As we speak. Uh, I had a young lady that came in, Miss Carrie Tomlinson. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be uh, the Tomlinson with the St. Landry Bank, mm -hmm. Alan Tomlinson's daughter. Correct. And uh, she says here that uh, on, uh, let's see, this would be... St. Landry Parish uh, Halloween Dance, mm -hmm. October the 28th, uh, South City Park, mm -hmm. $8 admission, and 4th, uh, 5th, 
six grades only. Right. So this is for the children. And of course, you can uh, have, they're going to have food. They're going to have uh, drinks there. Games. And, and then they're going to have a costume contest, mm -hmm. naturally. And uh, Halloween is right around the corner. Happens to be your birthday all the That's time. That's right. That doesn't change. Almost does every it? year. <laughs> <laughs> so we pass this on to you, and we'll come back with some more material that she gave me. But Carrie, thank you very much. And she left with a check, by the there way. There you go. This Tuesday night, don't forget, from Bobby Dupre, on this television station, KDCG will be the Rotary Club of Opelousas annual television auction. Starts on Tuesday night, October the 4th, from 7 p.m. all the way to 11 p.m. The Rotary has this huge event each year, and it helps to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of Opelousas, the Friends of the Library, both here in Eunice, uh, Opelousas Catholic School, Opelousas High School, and Westminster Christian Academy. Five great causes, all helped, supported by the Rotary that have been here in Opelousas since the 20s. So whatever you can do, watch on television. And if you can't watch on TV, get online. Watch it live streaming. Okay, and another... Uh a little bit of information I just learned from Beth and Kathy up front mm -hmm. is that this year the auction will go till 11 o'clock. Right, a little and later. Some people, after the, they buy something, they come and pick it up. Please try to come by 11 because they're going to shut. They're going to be worn out. Our staff here and and the, and the Rotarians that are doing all of this, they're going to be doing it live here where we're sitting right mm -hmm. now. This is where I'm, the, in this room. In this room here, and uh, so please consider uh, tuning in and and helping a good call. You are correct, a and, good call. And one other thing to remember about the Rotary is that, yeah, breakfast breakfast Rotary. Breakfast Thursday morning. Is a Rotary that does the canned goods for the voting, right? Rotary of it Kiwanis. Is. Am I going to get it backwards? Well, one of them. One of them. We'll, we'll, we'll find our notes. I'll dig it up. <laughs> uh, I just want to remind everybody that uh, the uh, Louisiana High School old timers boxing uh, from high school days, college days, we have in our uh, annual, it looks like we're doing it annually in our annual right. reunion, and uh, that's going to be October 28th, 29th at the George Dupuy Recreation Center on Pont de Mouton Road in Lafayette, Louisiana. That's coming up real, real soon. You know, October, uh, when is October start? Sunday? Uh, Monday? Saturday, I think. Huh? Uh, Saturday. Yep, Saturday. This Saturday. The first. So, uh, and on Wednesday night, we tape it today. We tape on Wednesday. We like to tell you that. Uh, tonight, I'm attending, and I've invited you to come, uh, attending a book signing uh, and a, a review of a book written by Don Landry, a former boxer. Didn't box too long. He said he figured he was better in basketball. So, But he still has a big interest in boxing. And a few years ago, returning home to Baton Rouge, uh, he decided that Somebody better get all of this information on the high school boxing or the young youngster would never believe that there ever was such a program. It was the number one program in most schools where it participated, uh, athletic program. And uh, he did all of this and tonight, on Wednesday night, he will be going over the, some of the features of the book and uh, that's at a la carte. Mm -hmm. And uh, should be a nice, nice evening. And of course, if you can come, Andrew, I'd love to have you to take a few pictures for it's us. It's Sunrise Rotary, I was trying to remember, with Joe Hidalgo and Keith Norman that get so active. And when you go vote on October the 22nd or the other election, they always have boxes out to give food to the Opelousas Food Bank. So please bring your dry food and canned goods when you go vote. Anytime you vote, bring canned goods because the Sunrise Rotary will be there to pick up the goods. Mr. Johnny Raymond had sent us a nice letter on uh, this event that's taking place tonight. Of course, uh, he is one of the owners of Buck and Johnny's Pizzeria in downtown Brobridge, mm -hmm. Louisiana. In uh, the Wednesday edition of the Daily Advertiser, Kevin Foote wrote a real nice article, uh, a, a lengthy article, I might add, mm -hmm. uh, about the history of this boxing, and we'll learn more, and hopefully we'll get some pictures and show you. Uh, college boxing was, uh, I think, at maybe six colleges in Louisiana back in, back in the heyday. Mm -hmm. The only one that I was really aware of was the LSU one, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, our own Calvin Clary from Opelousas High School, who, by the way, as good as he was, he never won a state championship. 
and went on to win a national championship at LSU. Okay. Uh, kind of ironic, uh, Bobby Swallow mm -hmm. won four championships in state, uh, in state and the Brinks uh, Trophy and went on and won national championship at LSU also. And Bobby uh, Freeman did some boxing at Plaquemine and then LSU. And uh, 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 my, my, out of my second wife, Christy Bourgeois, uh -huh. her daddy, Mr. Buddy Bourgeois, boxed at Plaquemine. He was a good boxer, went on to LSU, and he won a national championship. Out of everybody there, though, Bobby Swallow strikes me as the least, I mean, he's in shape, but he strikes me, he must have been a lot of, he wouldn't have been a power guy. He must have been just a no, speed. No, he was yeah. He, he, yeah, he had a lot of class. Yeah. A lot of class. He, he, he could figure uh, out the boxer. You know, a lot of them, like when I got in the ring, I just went slug. Bang. I yeah. slugged. I couldn't box at all. And it, it showed. <laughs> Came out with bloody noses. But it was fun. And uh, I call it, the coaches used to call that intestinal fortitude. Uh -huh. That's what you developed. Right. Was it meaning you put some, some stuff in the guts. And meaning stand up for yourself. You don't have to be a fighter. You don't have to go on the street and round, you know, bang up on anybody. But it teaches you how to defend yourself. E even in just everyday life, sure, defend, help yourself. Anyhow, I love boxing, and uh, I serve on the Louisiana State Boxing and Wrestling Commission. Have a, some a big, big uh, event coming up uh, Monday, Monday night at the Cajun Dome. If it's not sold out, you you better go get your ticket because it's a sellout every year. Uh, they come here twice a year, and this is the second time this year that they'll be in uh, Lafayette, and uh, that would be WWE, if my memory serves me correct. We got the Squirrel Cook-Off coming up, 12th Annual St. Hubert's Benevolent Society Squirrel Cook-Off at Willis Campground, Saturday, October the 15th, starts at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. with the cook-off, $50 for registration. You cook on site. Uh, you're going to win all kinds of different things from hunting, hunting items to weapons to optics. Uh, there'll be live music, food and fun, fun jumps, BB gun shooting contests for the little kids. You can register from 10 a.m. till noon for the shooting contest. All proceeds will benefit Jerry Sebastian uh, Bouchereau. Of course, you know Stephen and Robbie and all the crew. That, that's that's one of the, that's the sister. A sister. One of the sisters. That's correct. So if you want to go by, go by on that day, and you can call uh, Dr. Carey or Meredith at 948-4362. We'll talk about our sponsor. We're always bragging on how much he does for the community. Dr. Carey This Thibodeau. is the 12th annual St. Right. Hubert's. And, and uh, by the way. Uh, you got your medal that uh, they gave you? Uh, they gave me a medal years ago. There you go. And I wear it every day. St. Hubert's Benevolent. Dr. Kerry Thibodeau, all your general surgery type needs, if you need uh, varicose vein type work done, if you need general things from a, appendicitis, uh, colon type work, uh, any type of general surgery, Dr. Kerry Thibodeau uh, can take care of that for you. He's board certified. He's also a wound care expert, lectures all over the country and teaches other doctors all over the world about wound care. And of course, talk about the va him being a vascular surgeon as well. So go by Dr. Kerry Thibodeau in the general health system in Kessler We'll see you on the other side of three. How's that? What you got? Uh, well, uh, regarding the boxing uh, matter, yes, uh, I also got a reminder from uh, Bo Williford with uh, Raging Cajun's uh, amateur boxing team. And, of course, they also have a few professionals from time to time that they train. He and Deidre work very closely with a lot of the young people in the Lafayette area. And he called me to remind me about tonight also. We got the Rainbow Festival for St. Ignatius School. is their 22nd annual. That's going to be Sunday, October the 16th. Starts at 8 a.m. They're going to be a run through town as well. If you're a runner, call Melissa at St. Ignatius School, 662-3325. There'll be a gumbo cook-off, solid auction, and game booths all day. Who, who sent us that? The first got that one. from Eddie Sonier. Yep, Eddie Sonier. How about that? Formerly of Port Barry. That's correct. And well, he's still, well, now he's on by on the Three Mile Lake, so he's oh, still yeah, in Port Barry. Oh yeah, but that's not in town. That's no. out of town. He's yeah. in the suburbs. Suburbs. <laughs> How about this? We've also got the uh, Children and Youth After School Program is going to start uh, October the 4th. Space is limited. It's free of charge. It's to help kids learn more and work on their homework and that type of thing. If you're interested, it's through Southern U University's Agricultural Group. Uh, call Miss Edna Lestraps, Lestraps 943-2410. Okay. They sent us that. And uh, I've attended the uh, Saints uh, uh, football game. Yes, sir. And uh, we have some pictures. Can uh -huh. you get to those, some of those pictures?